I'm Hugh Jackman and I play Peter Miller, who is a father and a son. So <laughs> in, this, uh, in this beautiful family drama. I'll give you the absolute truth of this. I did know of the plays, and I say the plays because I somehow think of the father, the son, the mother, his three plays that have been around and very successful. Um, I had not seen any of them, which I'm actually surprised that I hadn't. I go to a lot of theatre, but I'm grateful that I hadn't. Um, and when I first heard about the movie version of The Son, um, I had already seen The Father and absolutely loved it, every bit of it. I thought it was an extraordinary piece of work. I was absolutely gobsmacked that it was Florian's first movie as a director. I thought he had incredible confidence and vision and assuredness that you might expect for someone who's made 10 movies um, and obviously a beautiful writer. So my agent rang me and said, listen, this movie, The Sun is around. I said, oh, I know, I know of the play. And she said, I, I think it, they're looking at a couple of other actors. Uh, I think it's for you and I'm going to send you the play because I don't want to see if you respond to that first. She sent me the play, I rang back, I read it in one go, I rang back immediately, I felt this instant urge to play the part. It, it hasn't happened to me a lot in my life, and then I have to say I chased it down. I know manners, and a little part of me was like, if a director's out to a couple of other actors, you should just wait, and I thought, no, I can't. I just felt this urge, so I, I wrote, uh, an email to Florian, had never met him, and uh, I just said, listen, if I hear possibly you're looking at other actors, I'm not one to cut in on a dance. If you're dancing with someone else, good luck to you, that's terrific, but if by any chance it's not true or something's available, I think I actually wrote, not only am I interested, I said, I'm in. If you, I, I want to play this part. On this film, I worked with Amy Stevens, who I've worked with for 10 years. And we looked at, obviously, the mental health issues that Nicholas is going through. I also looked at real life stories, many real life stories of second marriages, what it's like for kids from the first marriage who have to come and somehow integrate with a new marriage and a young baby. I went and spent time in a lawyer's office in New York. Uh, my brother's a lawyer. I understand, but I didn't. Re I really wanted to know what the reality of being a New York lawyer is. Well, let me tell you, it's a lot of hours <laughs> and a lot of pressure. Um, that was really, really helpful to me. And actually, I worked with Simon on integrating some of those things. I sent pictures from the offices. Um, and made sure I thought it would be more sterile as, a, as an aside the officers, but actually they spend so much time at work that American law officers give an extra stipend to people to make it feel like they're at home because basically they're saying, you're not going home. So <laughs> uh, the guy I was speaking with said, oh, I don't work nearly as hard anymore. I only do like 85 hours a week. And I was like, wow. This film is um, a very tight ensemble of actors um, for the main parts, that is. And literally, I'm working with heroes, uh, and just and an extraordinary young man who's really just beginning his career. And so, it has been a joy across the board. You don't really have to know very much to understand that. So, Anthony Hopkins, Laura Dern, Vanessa Kirby. If you get to be in a film with them and have really amazing scenes with them, you know that uh, this is one for the highlight reel. And Every single day has been uh, astonishing, you know, for me. It's been a revelation because I've never worked with any of them. They're all, I think, some of the best actors alive and we're dealing with very challenging, dramatic, personal work where there is, has to be a level of honesty and intimacy between us as actors, not just the characters, obviously. This was one of those films where there's such an urgency to the story and an immediacy to the material that I feel like we just know everyone just like that. And I sort of deliberately left out Zen McGrath in that group because I, I'd never met Zen. We had a read through where I met him and 
he had his physics exam for university the next day. I mean, you, I tried to talk to him about the science stuff. He lost me in about three minutes and he could see that I was just lost. And he goes, do you want me to stop? And I said, it's just probably a waste of your time because I don't know what you're talking about. And for someone like Zen to come in, it's taking all of my experience, uh, knowledge, talent, I guess, just to, to pull it off, try and pull it off. For Zen to come in in his first movie and, and do that, I think is astonishing. And his courage, his honesty, he has this perfect mix of being very humble as a young man, but not overawed by the situation. I think if I was 19 and I was told I was gonna to be working with Sir Anthony Hopkins, I'd be overawed completely. But he just seems to be really taking it in his stride. So if you put in a sports analogy, if people have been playing for 40 minutes and then you're just told, just come in for a minute and you've just all of a sudden got to play at that level and understand the game like that, very difficult. And we've had across the board amazing actors. Almost every day on this film has been challenging. Subjects come up, emotions come up, really difficult situations that are dramatic in storytelling touch people in different ways, not only the actors, but the crew and everyone around. And, you know, Seesaw, who are uh, the producers of this, really, I really admired uh, their approach in, uh, in making counselling available to every single person involved with the film. And not just if you would like, it's there, but this has been prepaid for you. So, use it if you want because I think they're aware that it's even hard for some people to step up and say yeah I, I need that um, because we l have lived with generations of step up a lip come on just crack on be strong you're okay everything will be fine don't burden other people you're at work this is not the place to burden people because I think for some people it's super super hard to admit that they're struggling it's really hard to be vulnerable um, it hasn't been a culture in film. It hasn't been a culture in society to admit that you're okay. I think particularly for men, uh, traditionally, that's been hard um, because it's seen as a sign of weakness. Um, so I'm really proud to be part of a film where that has been a priority. And the moment I have received that email, I immediately just emailed back saying thank you on behalf of everybody. That's, that's, that's the type of action that will change things for the future. It's a, it was a big step. I think the thing that I love about The Sun as a story is some really difficult topics are covered, but you understand every single character. You understand that Florian is really brilliant at making you see how difficult these decisions are. How do you balance work and home life? Everyone's trying their hardest. Sometimes they're dealing with the way they were brought up. Sometimes they're dealing with the society they live in. Sometimes they're dealing with a situation that they have never faced before and incredible fear that they're on their own, feeling they're on their own. And, as a parent, like, what if I make the wrong choice? What if I've absolutely screwed this? What if I've literally done the wrong thing and it, I can't go back from that? There's a lot of fear and a lot of doubt and the stakes are super high. And what Florian and what I, I want audiences to, to get from this is that we're all in the same boat. And sometimes watching a story where you see people struggling with things, which I know, every parent struggles with and I know every kid struggles with and every grandparent and uncle and teacher and politician you name it everyone's struggling with it so to see a really intelligent heartfelt beautiful story that is highlighting all of it every point of view every possibility should I shouldn't I what if what all of that I think ultimately brings us closer together, makes the conversation richer, makes us 
look at ourselves and at others without harshness, with humility, with the ability to say, this is all really hard, really difficult, and we're all in this together. That's, in the end, what I, I want this movie to do. So, um, I'm not going to lie, it's not going to be a barrel of laughs. It's going to be a few laughs, I hope. Um, but that's okay. It's, it's hopefully going to touch the heart and bring us all closer together. Nicholas is suffering from acute depression. You give these big speeches about life and then you abandon us. I have the right to reinvent my life! It's my little boy. I can't give up on him.